Number two, and this probably should be number one, do take the bankruptcy court seriously and avoid making any financial decisions that may make your creditor suspect you filed in bad faith. We, um, I always want to talk to people about this, about credit card use before you file. And the reason why is in our office, we've had several people who got sued over the years for fraudulent credit card use before they filed bankruptcy. I've defended several myself, and they're very easy to win if you tell your clients what to do and what not to do before you file. It's very hard to win a case if your client went out and bought a diamond ring on his Visa card and then filed bankruptcy two weeks later. It's very difficult to win that case, but there are other cases and other circumstances where it was very easy for me to win the case because of what the debtor had done before they filed. Now again, I'm not trying to make any false representations or anything to scare anybody. I'm talking about unique circumstances for individuals in the past. What happens before you file is between you and your bankruptcy attorney, whoever that may be. If, for example, there's some credit card use, you want to talk to your, your, your attorney about it before you file the bankruptcy because there could be ramifications down the line if something happens. So always take the bankruptcy court seriously and never, ever discount the fact of the power that the bankruptcy court has and the bankruptcy trustee because they have the ability to do a lot of things. Look into your past, look into this, look into that, and you want to make sure you're just crossing your T's and dotting your I's.